Hi, welcome to NQ Trader. My name is Jordan Schleider. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm also going to tell you a little bit about what we do and how we do it at NQ Trader. Okay. I want to start out firstly talking about myself, just so you know, get that out of the way. I'm, I'm semi-retired. I'm an entrepreneur, uh, venture capitalist. That means I invest money in different deals. Um, I have a strong business background, an engineering background. Um, I went to uh, University of Maryland, and um, engineering is my degree. Um, I've done a lot with businesses over my life. Um, my portfolio of businesses include um, IT software and hardware, networking and design and implementation. Uh, so I'm very well versed in the um, Internet world. Um, building and construction, real estate development. Um, I own some mental health facilities, uh, fitness and health clubs, restaurants, nightclubs, as well as I do a lot of business consulting. Um, I spent a lot of my life trying to trade, over 25 years actually. Okay, and recently over the past few years I've become very good at trading. Um, a lot of it has to do with uh, a course similar to this that I took uh, about five years ago, and um, I, I really started to enjoy the teaching part of it. And I, I guess my most recent undertaking, which is NQ Trader, um, is all kind of geared around teaching people what I learned. Now, um, I don't want to kid anybody. I'm, I'm doing this because I like to make money also, okay? But I, I feel that my business is a little different than... Um, most of the trading schools out there um, and you know maybe I can get an opportunity to show you a little bit about that either in this webinar or um, in some live trading groups that I can talk about a little bit later. Um, we're a small boutique trading firm okay and um, we really really devote a lot of excess time and help to helping other traders master their skills. Um, trading had always been a hobby Okay, and um, I've always left my investments to professional money managers. And when I decided to start NQ Trader after taking the specialized course, it really changed the way I viewed trading. Um, my trading trading abilities really went from breaking even to consistently profitable in no time at all. I learned more in a few months about how to make money in the markets than I'd learned my entire life. Um, I also realized that it would be great a great new business for me and I'd be able to teach other people. So, you know, I started out teaching the live morning classes and the rest is history, and that's what I do now. That's what NQ Trader is. Now, I want to talk a little bit about NQ Trader and, and what we specifically do. Okay, we teach price action trading. And uh, we specifically focus on scalping the E-minis. Okay, so that probably brought up a few more questions to you. Um, maybe like what's price action, what's scalping, and what are the e-minis, okay? So we'll start, we'll start with price action trading, okay? Price action is a type of trading. It's, um, it's an analysis based on price movements, okay? It ignores fundamentals. It ignores the news. It ignores uh, Kramer on CNBC. It ignores the reports. Uh, the president's speeches, uh, things like that. When the Fed makes announcements, interest rates, um, it it looks primarily at the securities price, okay, or the instrument, whatever we happen to be trading. It looks at the price, okay, and it's a form of technical analysis, but it's different from most forms of technical analysis because it focuses on the relation of the securities' current price to its past prices, as opposed to the value derived from the price history. So price action trading uses swing highs and swing lows, trend lines, and support and resistance levels. Okay. The next piece I want to talk about is scalping. Now, scalping, scalp trading, scalp trading by definition is small, quick trades with precision entries and exits. These quick trades happen over, um, over and over during the course of the trading day. On the average, we see about 40 trades a day. 
Scalping is also, it also has a very high win-loss ratio. Okay, and the system that we teach is, teach, excuse me, the system that we teach produces better than 80% winners daily. Okay, it's an 80% plus win-loss ratio. And lastly, scalping minimizes risk because it's a very, very short-term trade with specific exits and stops, okay, exact stops. Okay, and with scalping, you don't hold trades overnight. You're in and out of trades. So you don't really have to worry about waking up in the morning and finding out there's some crazy news that happened. Okay, that's changed the whole market and lost you a lot of money. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about the E-minis. Okay, and you know, to talk about the E-minis, uh, the next thing I want to do is bring up a slide, okay, and talk a little bit about futures. E-minis are a type of future, okay? So we have to explain what a future is first. So a future is a financial contract obligating a buyer to purchase an asset or a seller to sell an asset, such as a physical commodity or a financial instrument at a predetermined future date and price. So some of the futures that people might be familiar with are corn and farm products, agriculture, um, livestock, um, that, that's what you hear a lot about, soybeans, um, you know, you also um, hear a lot about in, in the futures market of our precious metals and other commodities, okay, and gold is one of those things that people talk about all the time. There's also currencies, um, Forex is part of the futures um, industry and commodities industry. Um, and, you know, there's, there's lots of different things to teach. The E-minis are, are a totally different thing. They're a, a financial instrument. Um, it's it's um, basically an index of stocks, and we'll talk about that in, in another second, okay? I just wanted to get a little bit into this. Now, futures can be uh, used either to hedge or to speculate on price movement, okay? So, basically, you have an underlying asset, which could be gold, and you could be hedging or you could be speculating and we'll talk a little bit more about that also okay in it for example and this is this is the textbook example okay um, a producer of corn could use futures to lock in a certain price and reduce risk that's called hedging on the other hand anybody can speculate on the price movement of corn by going long or short using futures now, does that really explain everything? Probably not. You know, we, we need to talk a little bit more. So I, I use maybe this next, next example um, to make it a little bit easier to understand, okay? And, and I like to talk about airlines, okay? Airlines are, are real easy for people to, to understand uh, futures trading, okay? So let's think about American Airlines. American Airlines buys a lot of planes every day, and they use a lot, tons and tons and tons of jet fuel, okay? And I also want to talk about another company, okay, AirBP. Okay, AirBP, they produce jet fuel, amongst other things, okay, and they're a big supplier, okay, of jet fuel, and they supply fuel to American Airlines and other airlines, okay? And they're, they're both hedging. These are companies that are hedging. They're um, selling their product into the market, and a consumer would be the airline. Okay, and let's look back at that. Would they be the consumer? They'd be buying their product. So you have producers and consumers, okay, selling into a market or buying into a market, and that's called hedging. So let's talk a little bit more about it. The basic concept is American sees an opportunity to buy gas now because they think the price is going to increase in three months. They're a consumer. BP, on the other hand, sees an opportunity to sell their gas now because they think the price is going to go down in three months. So they're buying and selling their commodities, okay, which in this case are airplane fuel, into the futures market. Okay, and that's two sides. 
They're consumers and producers buying and selling into a market, thinking that they can do better now, and they're selling a contract based on someone else's need, and it's to deliver that product at a future price at a future date. Okay, and there's also the speculators, the people that can go in and buy and sell at any given time and turn around and sell it back to somebody at any given time. Okay, now obviously there's a lot more to it. Okay, but this is where you get started. This is what the futures market is all about. Okay, under the category of futures, there's many, many different instruments. Okay, so gas and, and diesel fuel and oil, that's just one category. The slide that we looked at a little bit before, okay, gold, that's another category. And agriculture, livestock, that's another category altogether. Okay, we trade the E-minis, okay. The E-minis, there's a, a number of reasons that we trade the E-minis, but the E-minis are a stock index, okay. And, and we'll talk about the reasons we trade them in a minute, but... The E-mini that we focus on is called the NQ, okay, and it's a stock index, the NASDAQ 100, and this is the stocks in that index. So we're actually trading one instrument that encompasses this whole index. And what you see right here are the stocks in the NQ. And, you know, you might see some names in here you recognize, okay. You might see Google, okay, and Apple, and Yahoo, and Starbucks, and Netflix, and Microsoft. So that's the NQ. And we trade it all as one instrument. We buy and sell a contract. Okay, and it's called a stock index. Okay, but because it's an E-mini, it falls under the futures market. And it's traded as a future. Okay, so you know it's it's still fairly complex, okay, but it, it gives you a little bit of an idea of what we're doing. Okay, and we focus on the NQ for a number of reasons, okay. We focus on this particular E-mini for a number of reasons, okay. And some of those reasons are it's traded electronically 24 hours a day, okay. It's got low margins, which I'll talk about in a second. It's got great leverage, okay. Again, I'll talk about that. And the liquidity is outstanding, okay. And I'll explain all three of those things, low margins, leverage, and liquidity right now. Okay, so in order to trade the NQ or any futures instrument, you have to open a trading account and fund it. So somewhere along your course of learning, you're going to open up an account. Okay, and some of you might have heard of TD Ameritrade or E-Trade or Charles Schwab. Okay, those are fairly common um, brokerages. And in the futures business, we use something a little bit different. We use Brokerage is specialized in futures, okay, but you can trade futures through almost anything, but there's some specialized ones that are a little bit better. And when you open an account, okay, you put money in that account, and that money acts like a security deposit to buy and sell the contract, okay. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about the contract when I get into leverage, but for right now, you open up an account, with money and the money is just a security deposit to buy and sell to trade okay that's it and to give you an example um, to trade most e-minis they require a five hundred dollar interday margin so you have to have an account with five hundred dollars into it okay to be able to trade that would be the minimum requirement of five hundred dollars and then every time you place a trade they freeze that five hundred dollars and then when you close the trade, they release that $500. Now, it makes it really, really easy for someone to get started, and you're not exposed to a lot of risk that way. And actually, you'd need a little bit more than $500 because you'd have to have a little bit of trading capital beyond that, but not very much because our trades are very, very small, and we have minimal amounts of risk behind that. So most people open up an account for somewhere between $750 to $1,000. Okay, so let's talk about leverage now. Okay, in the futures market, we use leverage. It makes it very, very easy to control large amounts of, in our case, stock or cattle or 
corn or whatever it happens to be, but we're trading a stock index. Okay, and that security deposit, that $500 deposit allows you to buy a contract or sell a contract. And that contract right now has a value of about $90,000 on the NQ. So what that means in terms of real dollars is that if you have $500 in your account, you could buy or sell $90,000 worth of this index, $90,000 worth of stock. And that's great, okay? And that translates to a $0.25 cent change in price is equal to $5 of move or $5 move, okay? And that's what it equates to. So every time the price moves up or down $0.25, cents, depending on the position you're in, it changes your value $5. And that's leverage. $500 controls $90,000. Okay, we explain that a lot clearer in the class, too. A lot of these uh, explanations that I'm giving you probably will leave you um, just wondering for more explanations. But, you know, I'm more than happy to answer all your questions. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about in this area right now is liquidity. Okay, and that's the, that's the three areas that make the E-minis great to trade, okay? And what does liquidity mean? Okay, well, liquidity means that there's always other traders willing to buy and sell positions. And how does that translate? Okay, it translates to being able to sell or buy instantly at the price you request. Okay, and let me give you uh, an example of what doesn't have liquidity. And a lot of people have been in this predicament before. They've um, tried to play this penny stock game, okay? The penny stock game is, is kind of scammy in a lot of ways, okay? It's, it's high-risk gambling. So if you've ever tried penny stocks, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about here. You can, you can um, go out and own or buy 10,000 shares of a penny stock, and let's just say they're 10 cents a share, okay? So, you know, that's a $1,000 investment that you bought and you bought all this stock and you're hoping that it's going to go up to you know a million dollars a share and you're going to be a billionaire right okay well you know maybe that doesn't happen maybe it just sits there at 10 cents forever maybe it just drops down a penny or two or goes up a penny or two you know and you see this price movement and you realize that you just wasted a thousand dollars on penny stock and you attempt to liquidate or sell that stock okay and guess what? No one wants it because there's no liquidity, okay? And so you, you put your order in for $0.10 cents a share because that's what you see it is, or $0.09 cents or $0.11. Cents. And by the time it sells, because of what's called the bid and the ask, okay, your entire position to liquidate, the price has fallen down to less than $0.03 cents a share, okay? So instead of the anticipated... $10,000 or $1,000 you were going to get back because the price didn't really go anywhere. Maybe you only made $300. Maybe you only made $200 or $100, and then your commissions come out, and you make absolutely nothing. So that's how liquidity works, okay? And the E-minis don't have a liquidity problem, okay? They are very, very actively traded. Okay, so that's a little overview about what we do. Okay, now I want to show you a little bit about how we do it. Okay, and, you know, this is where it gets even more confusing, but hopefully I can explain it, okay? So this is an actual trading chart. It's, it's, it's actually a picture of a trading chart. If you're watching this live, these bars would be moving, and this would be the actual bar all the way over on the right that we'd be paying attention to. Okay, and this is from uh, January 29th, 2015. You can see a date up here. Okay, so it's a fairly recent chart. It's a five-minute chart, which means that every candle on here is five minutes long. Okay, it means that every five minutes we get a new candle. Okay, and the chart goes from roughly 3 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, and that's the normal trading hours for the E-minis. That's when we see movement. Uh, you don't see much after 4 p.m., and you don't see much before 3 a.m. So those are the ideal trading hours. Okay, and I want to explain a little bit about how this works and, um, you know, what's going on in the chart and what we look for. So we see a lot of lines on this chart. We see these horizontal colored lines. Okay, we trade off of those. 
okay? We see these blue lines that are on a slight angle. Those are called trend lines. We actually trade off of those too, okay? And um, there's some other things we trade off of this gold line that kind of runs up on an angle and down through here. That's called the EMA, and we trade off of that also, okay? And, and what we're really looking for, and if, if you look closely at this chart, You'll see a point like right up here, and let me get my little pen tool so I can draw this. Okay, right up here, you see a green candle intersecting with a trend line. Okay, and when that happens on a live chart, that indicates a trade, and it indicates a short trade, which means we'd expect the price to go down from there. Okay, and look what happens. Great arrow, huh? And the price comes up, it intersects with this blue line, that's a trend line, and then it turns around and goes the other way. And that's a trade. And that's how we make money. And it happens on both sides of the market, on the up and down, and you can see places where these trend lines intersect on the downside, and then it turns around and goes back up. And wherever you see these green and red arrows, those are entries into trades. So here's another pretty clear one right here. Okay, the price comes down, it tags the blue trend line, and then it shoots back up here. Okay, just like that, winning trade. Okay, we also trade off these horizontal lines in a very similar fashion. So wherever you see a, an arrow right here, the price comes up, it hits this orange line, and goes back down the other way. Okay, so that's a little bit about what's going on. Okay, it's, it's, it, again, it's, it's confusing, and there's a, a lot to um, really understand about this. Um, and if you're new to technical analysis, okay, and that's what this is, technical analysis and advanced technical charting, we teach this. This is what we teach in groups and classes. You learn to understand this. You learn to analyze it. It'll become real easy in time. It becomes almost automatic. Okay, so let me move over one more slide here. Okay, I don't want to spend a lot of time on the chart because, it, again, it's just confusing and it won't make a lot of sense to everybody. Okay, now I'd like to talk about how we teach it, okay, or when we teach it. Okay, we teach in classes and groups, and the, there's two times, basically, that we run these groups. We run a morning group from 9.30 or 9 to 11 Eastern Standard Time daily. And we run an evening group from 7 to 9 Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Thursday. Okay, the format's a little different in the morning and the evening class. I'm going to talk a little bit about that here. Okay, the morning groups are from, um, seven, are from 9 to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And during the live session, we watch live trading. We actually watch the chart live going by. I talk about the trades. I call them as they happen. And um, we discuss actually how they work, okay? We, we, we literally like, you know, this is a, a trend line trade. This is where we get in. This is why we drew it here. This is how it sets up, okay? And we go over the details about it. Now, the trades can move very fast. And as you saw from that chart, there's a lot of them. So sometimes we start explaining and we miss a trade. And other times we just hit two or three trades in a row and we don't explain a lot of them. Okay, and, and that's why we're trading live, okay, and, you know, you have the opportunity to, to ask questions during group, and I answer the questions, but it is happening pretty fast in this day group, okay, in this morning group, so we supplement the morning class or the morning group with an occasional afternoon class, usually once or twice a week, we do an afternoon class, and that's how we make up for the time um, in the morning, because the morning is is, is like I said, pretty fast. And in the afternoon class that we cover that, it's fairly structured, and we, we specifically talk about the trades, and that, that helps people catch up sometimes. Okay, now the evening class is a little different. Um, we find that there's not really good trading on the e-minis in, in the evening, okay? And the evening class is from 7 to 9, okay, Monday through Thursday. So it's not really the best time to trade. So what we do is we do... Um, something called Market Replay by Ninja Trader. That's the charting platform we use. And it allows us to replay the day just how it went. We can stop and start and speed it up and look at it. And we um, 
get a chance to actually cover all the basics and the theory right there in the live group class. Okay, it makes it a little bit easier um, on the student because we can stop the chart, we can talk about it, and then we can move on. Okay, so two different, um, completely different methods that teach about the same thing. Um, one's a little slower and um, stop and start and one's live. Um, the biggest difference for most people that most people find is that if they have a day job, they're not available during the morning class. And that gives them an opportunity in the evening to learn. And if they'd rather take the morning class, they have that option too. So we have two classes, two options. Okay. Now, let me tell you um, lastly, okay, to kind of finalize things. Um, on our website, we have a lot of information about this. We also have links to live classes, I'm sorry, to recorded live classes that you can um, that you can watch, okay? There are YouTube videos, there's links on there, there's charts, there's a, a lot of different stuff you can look at, okay? And that's on our website, um, www.nqtrader.us, okay? You can email us anytime at info at nqtrader.us, and, or you can email me directly at jordan at nqtrader.us, okay? Um, our phone number, 754-800-1810, and I usually answer, and if I don't, it's because I'm in some sort of group or class and I'm teaching, and I don't have time, okay? So if you're interested in um, checking out a free live group, if you want to check out a recorded group, you can go to the website. If you're interested in checking out a free live group, take a look on our um, website and um, send me an email. Okay, and I can usually get you in the next day. There's not really that much of a wait. And um, these are live, okay? These are actual, you'll actually see other traders and other students in there. You'll hear me. You can ask questions. And there's never an obligation, okay? I'm not going to hound you. And, you know, I might send you an email now and then. Um, and you can always unsubscribe. No problem. Okay. Um, you can always um, tell me you don't want to be spammed anymore, and I'll, and I'll stop right away. So, it, you know, if, if you like the free group and you want to sign up, you can sign up. If you don't like it, then don't sign up. It's that easy, okay? But check it out. It's free, okay? No charge. You know, you'll come in and you can sit in the back and just listen the whole time or you can participate and ask questions. It's up to you. Okay, that kind of concludes the presentation. I um, wanted to kind of give everybody an overview of um, what we do, how we do it, and... Um, information about the website and email. So um, if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to call, okay, or email. Um, check out the website, and um, hopefully one day you'll become a student. Thanks for your time, and have a great day.